Cisco Identity Services Engine, the OVF deployment. So we've already deployed the OVF and we're about ready to log into the, the console and run the setup. So the username is set up. We'll go ahead and enter the host name, IP address, NetMask, and Gateway. The goal here is just to prime the, the current box so we have network access to it. It installs the ICE database and we can go ahead and do all those great things that we can do with uh, you know, an advanced network admission or access control system like Identity Services Engine. We'll go ahead and say no to IPv6. We'll enter the default domain and primary name server. We'll say no to secondary. This is in a lab in my environment. Obviously you would add a secondary here. NTP, we're gonna leave the default. So if we don't enter anything in here, obviously the things in the brackets are um, default. For time zone, we're gonna enter our time zone. We're gonna enable SSH. We'll go ahead and leave the default admin for username and we'll go ahead and enter a password and we'll validate that password. Now that that's complete, it's now bringing up the network interfaces. It's gonna make sure that we have access and we can ping the gateway. We're gonna ping the primary name server. It's gonna do a VM uh, disk IO performance test to make sure that the, the disk is performing at at least at a level that is, is acceptable. Then we'll go ahead and install the, the ICE database and then there's some other things that it's gonna do around the database itself. That's really it. That's all we need to do in order to get this box up and running so we can log into it and start really leveraging all those great capabilities that Identity Services Engines can provide.